If you like this video or content, please give me a subscribe. If you like the actual video, give me a thumbs up. But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Hello, welcome back. These are games from the Analog Magazine. Back in the day <laughs> when uh, you spent so much time coding and typing something from a magazine and find out if it's wrong or not. And I recently found this not too long ago. They made mistakes. So the poor souls who either bought this magazine or got it from the library would spend the entire weekend, uh, first of all, coding it and then debugging it. And then later on in their adult life, like me, find out that a lot of them had um, errors in the code. Some people actually, if you buy, get these books now, like old books, you'll find corrections sometimes to make it work, which blows my mind. But those were the days, my friend. So this is called Bonk. And the idea is to get the diamonds without touching the walls or the stars. Uh, go, 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 go. Uh. Okay. It's pretty fun. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Uh. Whew. Yeah, I remember these games are going to be great. I, I mostly I, I got it from the library. Where it's like, I'm going to get all these games to the library. They're super cheap. All I have to do is code them in. No problem. And I remember there was a... There was an error correction um, code. Uh, um, uh, a page from... From the book where if you're typing in anything more advanced than basic, they came out with this... Um, it was a way of entering the... Um, the numbers without getting errors. Problem is, you have to code that original error correction program, and a lot of times you never got it right. Ah, uh, but we didn't. Well, we got frustrated. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to go this way. Uh, wow, I'm going to see if I'm in frame. <laughs> Imagine that. I do all this and not in frame. Okay, a couple more tries. You going to follow me? Nice. I will plant links below to all the games. They are hosted by a great, great website called Atari Mania. Okay. Now shoot myself in the foot by just getting the one bonus. Uh. Oh boy, um, no. They kind of follow me. Oh, uh, careful. Nice, look at that. I almost, oh boy. No, I'm not gonna get the uh, freeze block yet. Uh, come on. Fine. Okay, I'll leave you in the dust. Uh, 
No, I can do this without the freeze block. Ah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, it just repeats. Oh, that's fun. Ah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Too bad you can't add more levels. Uh, I have one of the magazines up on Archive. Maybe I'll find the other ones. I haven't decided yet. Uh, maybe somebody with some time in their hand and a lot of ingenuity can look at his code and come up with more levels. No. Oh. That was fun. I like that. I like that lots. I like that lots. So I'm going to go with a thing called Labyrinths. Where you're following. I think this is the labyrinth with the lizard wandering around. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. I, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I, I don't know. <laughs> but. At least I found the keys to change these. Uh, nighttime, daytime, and here we go. I like the graph. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It is. There they are. Those are the monsters. You're supposed to escape. Oh, boy. Maybe we get to see what the monsters look like. I think, oh, ow. Did I turn myself around? Yes, I did. Oh, ow. And I have a dead end. Ultimate 3D maze. It must be that. That must be that. His version of it. And you have to type it out. Oh boy. Okay. I want to take a look at this guy. I'm here. Or not. Nice. Ow. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Gotta check. Am I gonna see a monster? Maybe. I'm supposed to escape, but I'm interested in what the monster looks like. Ow. Ow. Okay. Am I trying to find the monster or am I trying to find the exit? Wow. Ow. Boink. Boink. Ow. Boink. Ow. Oh, it's a maze, all right. Are they like minotaurs? Or they look like... um. I think that it's either a Tyrannosonic Rex or is this like a big lizard? Okay, there's nothing there. Nope. Okay. 
Oh, ow. Ah. Uh. Ow. And this wraps. Oh, whoa! I've been captured. You have been captured. Your next dispose of your. Ne oh. Okay. Remember uh, of Argonian. Oh, it's an Argo Argonian? Patrollers too. Let me go and s do some of the options here. Nighttime. Difficult to... Um, hard. Trivial. Sadistic. Insane. Beginner. All right. What is this? Daytime? Nighttime? All right. This is nighttime. Oh, no map. Oh, this will be fun. I'm playing games, videotaping. Our little bear's back, yes. Sorry. My lovely deer is back home. Oh, we're going to go here. This is not fun. Yeah, this is a lot different. Insane? I think I left a beginner. Stop banging yourself. Ow. Ow. Well, this is a long hallway. Okay, I'm going to move on because I think you're kind of bored. <laughs> so, next game. Uh, this is Dungeon Lords. This is a, a clone of Tutankhamun, which I was surprised. And you can get this from a magazine. You can actually type it in. Look at this. Come on. It's a little fast, though. And there we go. Be nice. Uh, get some quesh. We get. Ooh. Come on. Hello. 
I want to play more. There. Get a key? Yes, I did. All right. Get out. Get out. All right. Hello. Nice. Nice. This is a big one. Is this is a save somebody. Did I save somebody? Oh, okay. Oh, and then there's an out. Oh, that's different. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to save somebody, and then at the end, you, you finish the dungeon. Well, that's new. I like that. Wow. There we go. Turn up the difficulty to 11. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Wow. That was a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting that at the end of Dungeon Lords, but I will try to find the issues, at least the issue numbers. I know I found one actual issue on archive.org and you can click on it and check out the page and all that for all the code. But if you hope you like these videos, cause I enjoy making them for the YouTube stuff, you know what to do. Click on the little subscribe button and hit the little bell for more videos like this. And until the next video, this is Mike signing off.